Welcome to the tutorial. Know about electrical panel and maintenance. Electrical panel part 4. Automatic mains failure system. Continues from part 3. MSB with two incoming side and one bus coupler. This panel is divided into two sections such as non-essential and essential. The essential side supplies power to the areas where continuous power is required and the other section supplies power to the non-essential areas. The two sections are joined together with a bus coupler inside the panel. Working principle of the power transfer is the same as that of the panel with two incomer side. The only difference is the operation of the bus coupler, which is controlled in conjunction with the main incoming breaker. When the main breaker closes, bus coupler will receive the closing signal, and if the main breaker is open, bus coupler also open. circumstances, the full panel operates with power from the main incoming section and the essential side incoming breaker will be open. When the utility power fails the incoming and bus coupler breakers open at a time and send a start signal to the generator. from the generator reaches the secondary side, breaker close and energizes the essential section of the panel. When the secondary power is live, the main section incoming breaker and bus coupler will be open. The essential side power will be ready within 6 to 8 seconds. Utility power is restored, the control system checks the stability of power and send a signal to open the secondary breaker and stop the generator. The main incoming breaker will close after the secondary breaker opens and send a command to close the bus coupler. The full panel will be ready with the main power within 10 seconds. We will have a look at the functions of the control circuit of AMF in detail with the live video. The function of the AMF system in a panel with main, secondary, and bus coupler. MSB with two incomers and bus coupler, main breaker and bus coupler close with main power. Main power fails. No power in the complete panel. The generator started. Power reaches the secondary side. The secondary breaker is close. Main and bus coupler breaker open. When power restores, secondary breaker open. No power in the complete panel. The main breaker close and after 2 seconds bus coupler will be close. AMF control system. In part 3 we have learned about the basic interlocks provided in the control circuit using PFR. PFR coming with two contacts that are normally open and normally close.
As shown in the figure, the points L1, L2, L3, and N of the PF are directly connected to the power supply detect the presence of voltage. PFR will be active when the power comes in those points and followed by the contacts associated with will be activated. Normally open contacts of the PFR acting as interlocks in the main and secondary control circuit. details and settings of PFR shall be available in the controls part. The block diagram explains the interlock. Control supply to the coil of Relay K1 connected through normally close contacts of GPFR and Relay K2. Control supply will be available to the main breaker only when Relay K1 active. That is GPFR and Relay K2 should be in the open position to get control supply to the main breaker. The same logic applies to the secondary breaker also. Control supply to the coil of Relay K2 connected through normally close contacts of MPFR and Relay K1. Control supply will be available to the secondary breaker only when Relay K2 active. That is MPFR and Relay K1 should be in the open position to get control supply to the secondary breaker. Part 4. The function of all components and study of control circuit provided in the controls part. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Subscribe to the channel to get updates and new videos.